What's up, guys, and welcome back to House Flipper 2. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we helped out Florence in the Machine by transforming her cold and modern forest villa into a warm and cozy forest villa. Great band, by the way, Florence in the Machine. But we've got two brand spanking new emails out here in the Coral Root Forest, starting out with Leon Ortiz. Looks like it's an A-frame shape house. It's kind of cool. I think that's the first one of those that we've seen. But he says, My house was flooded. The entire first floor is ruined. I need someone to clean up the mess and replace the damaged furniture. I have no idea how it was even possible. The company designing the house assured me that the spot was carefully chosen by environmental specialists. I thought that meant it was safe from these sort of natural disasters. I hope you'll be able to make the first floor look like there was never any water damage to begin with, and hopefully I won't need this kind of help from you in the future. Best regards, Leon Ortiz. All right, Leon. We'll take on the job, brother. I am here to help you out. Yeah, dude, classic A-frame style house. That is kind of... Can you walk up the roof, though? Oh, you can. Okay, that's great. That is fan-freaking-tastic, dude. How sick is this? Ooh, we've got a bit of a mess at the back. Okay, so where did the water come from then, I wonder? There must be like a stream or a creek or something close by. Oh, wait. I remember. The forest lots. Right out the front. Well, I can't go much further than this line, unfortunately. But there's a little bridge here, so I'm, I'm guessing there, there must be a little stream back up in there. So... That, uh, that water level rose pretty quick, I'm guessing, and just flooded the entire main floor of this place. Oh my good god. Okie dokie. Kind of a shame we don't have the old garden hose anymore to, to take care of this. I wonder how long is this actually going to take? I mean, I could, I could give it a little spritz too. That usually makes it go a little bit faster. Maybe I'll go around first spray all the spots on the floor that I that I can and then we'll give her the old the old wiperoo two very boring minutes later even just walking around here dude it's proven to be a little a little difficult for sure so I think what I want to do before we start going through and, and trying to wipe everything down so we don't waste any time trying to clean up furniture that's just gonna get sold off anyways we're gonna get out the cell tool and we are gonna get to work it's already looking so much better, dude. I can actually see, like, all the dirt and debris everywhere now. This guy's pretty lucky that these, like, down limbs and stuff didn't do more damage to his main floor as they were kind of flowing through his, uh, through his, his main room there. He is gonna have to call somebody else to come out and deal with these larger tree trunks. That's a, it's a little above my pay grade, but... Let's get out our little scrubbing brush now. I'll hide the HUD so it looks better. And we are gonna scrub-a-dub-dub -dub this whole place down. deed is done i think i'm gonna i'm gonna go around real quick and just make sure i i didn't miss anything we've still got two more stains in here oh there's one and i think there's two okay perfect i forgot to clean the bathroom of course of course wouldn't wouldn't be a house flipper two episode if i didn't forget to do at least one thing but let's hope that's all i forget to do today Bathroom is looking good. Let me just double check this room again. That's perfect. Closet is fine. And whatever this room used to be is also good. Oh, that was the bedroom. That was the bedroom. You know, we should probably go upstairs. I, I know I need to clean the windows too, but I want to see... I want to see what his decorating and stuff looks like on the second floor. Ooh, really nice master bath up here. Oh, so the basement bedroom is the guest bedroom. Yeah, this has got to be his master. Dude, stellar views, too. The only downside about an A-frame house, a little yoga mat over there, 
The only downside is it's obviously more narrow the the higher up you get. Um, but he really, really like utilized the space well here. I think. Um, so now it's already telling us to buy stuff, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that just yet. Instead, we're gonna we're gonna move on to cleaning the windows. That's got to be the most satisfying task that you can do on a job, hands down. What's not as satisfying? Picking up trash. So real quick, I'm just going to make my rounds, clean up as much of the garbage as we possibly can, and then we'll finally be able to move on to uh, starting to furnish. Unless the homeowner wants us to like repaint and, and do new floors or something. I don't know. I haven't even looked that far. We got all the lights turned on now, dude. Even without the furnishings, this place is looking so much better already. But we should probably start... Wait, what? On the furnishings. Are all the... All the door... Handles are that way. Okay, not all of them. Interesting. Anyways, let's get started in the smallest room of the house, which is the bathroom. The main floor bathroom. We're going to be adding some new uh, toiletries and things, of course, because... The old ones were full of, like, stream water and, and icky stuff. Very, very gross things. That'll help out. Perfect. Just those three items. Done. Finished in there. Let's now maybe move out back. Four items out here. Okay, a little coffee table, a large sofa, and two... I don't think these rock. Two just regular armchairs. I just want to see if we can actually, like, walk through here without any issues. Just make sure nothing weird happens. We're not going to, like, jump up on the coffee table. Nope. Everything seems good. All right. We're finished up. Out back. Was there anything out front at all? Buy four. Oh, some new path lights. I don't remember selling any old ones. Maybe this is just a bit of an upgrade. So let's think about this. They have a carport. Let it be known, not a garage. This does not count as a garage. Please, somebody tell Zillow. Uh, but anyways, I think we probably want one sort of close-ish to the carport. Maybe another one, like right there. We'll do one more over here. Kind of offset. Try to disperse the light as best we can. And then one more a bit closer to the end of the driveway. Right there. Do we have a switch? Looks like we do have one on the outside. And that is controlling those. So let's just tether these into that. That works for me. Third one and the fourth one. Done. Got them. We got just one thing. One thing here in the main entryway. I believe there used to be some sort of chest of drawers or something similar to this in here before. That looks pretty close to the center of that mirror. All right. And now this space used to be a guest bedroom, still going to be a guest bedroom. Surprise, surprise. We got the bed there. We're gonna add two little end tables, nightstands, one on either side. Oh, thank God they didn't wanna go with the pink, man. I, I would have changed that. That's that's one thing that I definitely would have changed. But it seems like for the most part, the the owners of these homes are giving us the color configurations and things from the get-go that they would actually like, which is kind of helpful. Takes out the guesswork, you know? I think that'll work well over there. And then we just have some plant pots and some plants to finish her out. I want to find the biggest plant. That is certainly, probably, the biggest one. And then this is the smallest. Okay, so that one's going to go in the small plant pot then. And this one, use precise placement. That looks good there. And the big boy, the thick with two C's plant. It kind of looks like a snake plant, but a little bit bigger, a little bit longer leaves and things. 
Looks pretty solid. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotta turn on the lamps. You know, we don't gotta, but I gotta. You know what I'm saying? With that room done, we're gonna move into this one, which was an office once upon a time. And it's gonna be an office again. Same thing that we did last time with the plants. We're gonna place them all down first so we can figure out, you know, smallest to, to largest. Oh, we could finish the job if we wanted to. We're not gonna do that. We couldn't do that, right? But now that we have all the plants placed down, I think we're good to go ahead and just finish. I'm kidding, guys. We're not that guy. We're not that guy. The last thing that we have in here is a little box full of who knows what. Is there actually anything in there? Well, now that I know it opens that way, I got to rotate it around, don't I? We'll kind of put it at a slight angle. There we go. Yeah, there's there's nothing inside. Though. Let's move over to the closet. Just two items in here. Both bookcases. Or I guess this would be like a, a chest of drawers. And then the other thing would be a bookcase. So we'll put that there. And then can we put this in that corner? That fits pretty well. Fits pretty nicely in there. All right. Office space finished. Now, moving on to, I guess, the kitchen, dining, living room area. That's, that's honestly all we have left. Typically, I like to start decorating with the largest object in the room. In this case, that would be the, the sofa. But I think we're going to start with the TV cabinet instead. And the owner of this home did supply us with a configuration layout schematic blueprint. I don't know what to call these ever. Um, but we have a little photo here of precisely how he wants this organized. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to follow that. To the best of my abilities, we'll put his TV cabinet right there. It looks like he has the coffee table out just away from that a little bit. Is that gold? Okay, my man is bougie. Got the gold-plated coffee table in here. Uh, TV. We could we could probably toss that up there now. Might as well. Oh, we got to select the channel. Wait, wait, wait. That's that's copyrighted. That's copyrighted. Modern Aliens for the win. Best show on House Flipper 2. Now we're ready for the sofa. Or the couch. Some people call it a Davenport, even. Not me. Not me. That's a, that's a little too weird. Let's precisely place that over just about an inch. That looks pretty good to me. Do we still have room for bar stools, though? I guess I didn't really think about that. Those are probably going to be for the dining room table. Oh, dude, we have plenty of space the heck am I worried about? Dining room table. Since the stairs kind of make the space a little bit smaller, I'm going to put it right over yonder. Right about, maybe over to the right a little bit more. Right there. I don't know why I always worry about having to place it down perfectly like the first time. It, it, it's not like we can't move it, you know, after the fact. And then for the chairs, I was going to put two and two, like two on one side, two on the other. Um, but I think it's, I think it's actually going to look better if we do this instead. There we be. All right. Last thing in here is this little plant stand shelf deal. Let's put that in this corner because there's not really much going on over here. And then we just have some more plant pots and plants. He did specify that he wanted a large plant just to the right of the entertainment center and the TV. So I think this is that large plant. I'm trying to I'm trying to give him exactly what he wants. But we do still have another large planter and plants to match and I think I'm going to put that over here under the steps by the light switches. He did not want any additional plants on the coffee table. So instead, I've placed our extra one, our fifth one in the middle of the uh the kitchen table there, the dining room table. We need one more right there. We need one more down here. These are going to kind of intersect each other and and look a bit weird. All these orchids over here. Oh, no. Can I not even place that one? Okay, right there. That's good enough. They're kind of growing into each other, but it's, it's organic. It's natural. That's just nature, baby. All right, dude. This place is all finished up. We got three stars on everything. And we still have 18,441 bucks left in the budget. So we're going to earn 17,681 bucks. That's not too shabby. 
All in a day's work, right? The last thing that I want to do today is some more assembly stuff. We have the shelf that we need to assemble and we have the table. So let's get going on the shelf first. I'm noticing we're gonna have to put some anchors in the wall potentially. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be quick about it, but usually I do have to do these uh, two times. Okay, anchor first, got it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way we're getting a good time on this, dude. This is taking forever. Okay, now we pick that up. We mount it there. We have some more screws. We got four more. Okay, this should be easy, though. This should be easy. Like, it, it just takes longer than you expect to actually screw everything in. And, like, the camera rotate thing, I don't know if I love that. Having to hold control just to rotate the camera. Yeah, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised if we did a... And there's more! And there's more! Okay. Uh, we're gonna pick this up. Everything's fine. It's fine. I don't know why I'm freaking out. It's not like it's a time trial or anything. Okay, it, it, it is. It is a time trial. What is going on? Just stay up there. Done. Did we get a good time? Three stars. Okay, so we got a 2% discount on shelves now. Uh, but we do still have one more to do which is gonna be the table. Oh, and those are simple. Quote unquote, simple. Now we have a desk, which says it's a moderate assembly task. I'll give the table a crack. We'll see if maybe I can assemble this a little bit faster. I just kind of like to scope things out before I try to tackle it. So those guys are gonna go in this configuration. I think we're gonna have to do some screwing again, of course. Start the clock. Start the freaking clock, dude. I'm I'm ready for this one. It's a table. How hard could it be? All the holes seem to be pre-drilled, so that's nice. Okay, we've got all of our uh, hardware now. So screw, you go there, and you go there. And then I don't actually want to screw you guys in right now. Okay, I guess we're going to have to. I wanted to... Uh... I wanted to move to the other ones. No, please, just... Can I not exit out of this? I don't understand this process whatsoever. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta be quick, dude. We gotta be quick. Quicker than this. Oh, and then these are gonna go on specific corners. Okay, that one goes there. We've only got two left. 50-50 shot. Got him. All right, that saved like half a second, maybe. And then next we have... These little L brackets. Oh, the camera thing again, man. That really... Just work. Just work. First first time, just just work right out the gate. That's, that's all I ask for. Okay, we got that one. Next screw. Done. Now we've got a long boy going into the corner joint here. That's going to lock that leg in place. Okay, on to the next. It's not so bad. Here we go. Here we go. The final screw. And wait for it. Time. Oh my god, there's more. Hang on. We got to we got to flip this thing over. We just have to we just have to put it right there. Come on, baby, show me 3 stars. Finish below 3 minutes and 5 seconds. We were 5 seconds away from not getting 3 stars. But we did it. We crushed it. Let's do one more. Let's do one more while we're here. We might as well. A moderate task. The desk. The dreaded desk, dude. Alright, so first, leggies. And then there's going to be a cabinet built on this side. Okay. We probably want to do leg first. And then there's a box clear over here. Okay, this is going to be pretty involved. We have to finish in less... Oh my god, this is going to take so long. We have to finish in less than 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Start the clock, dude. Start the dang clock.
the heck am I supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> like, the heck am I supposed to do with this? So this must be the cabinet thing. Wait, wait, wait. We probably probably want to do that one last, no? Because it's got all, like, the pegs and stuff in it. Okay, that goes there. Yeah, this is going to be the back, the back, like, plate thing. And then hopefully we have the screws that we need for this. It looks like they're going to be these guys. We just passed three minutes. Oh, that was just a good one. Okay, that's not ideal. And then what the heck are these? What is that? Oh, we just have to screw it in. It's not a great camera angle for this. Really isn't. God, this makes Ikea look like a breeze, though, dude. Uh, uh-oh. Okay, that's not the right thing. Turns out I just didn't have the right thing. Like, why am I... Why am I, like, elbow deep in this cabinet right now, dude? I'm having a really hard time just seeing what I'm what I'm doing. Uh, we need to do something with these now, right? Those are going to go in there. And this one, same deal. It's going to go below that one. Okay, and now this we can mock up. Let's get it rotated around. Okay, got it, but wait... <laughs> There's more. Okay, we passed six minutes. Just past six minutes. And I know I've said this before, but this just makes me so glad that we don't have to do this thing like every time that we need to purchase a desk you know that would that would really not be great why is that not the thing wasn't pulling up dude i had no idea how tight i was screwing that in It's getting close. It's getting down to the wire, dude. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it in time. Oh, also, we can only have good or perfect, and I already screwed it up because one of the screws was bad or bolt or, or whatever. That's a bit unfortunate. We were close on time. We only just hit 8, 830. Okay, we've got the doorknob here and the screw on the other side. Close, man. Close. A valiant effort. But now that we're back at home, I do think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.